In today's tech review, I'm going over the Dell UltraSharp 38 inch ultra wide curved monitor. I'll be going over all its specs, discussing my overall user experience with it after two months, and I'll also be sharing why I think it's a great multitasking and video editing monitor for creatives and professionals. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric of Immersive Tech TV, and on this channel, we review awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. So if you're new here today, definitely feel free to subscribe and hit that bell notification to catch future reviews just like this one. If after the video guys, you would like to learn more about the Dell Ultra Wide Monitor, I'll link down below where you can find it online, as well as a few of their other ultra wide monitors depending on your budget. But with that being said guys, let's now start today's review. I'm gonna break down today's review into three parts. First, I'm gonna talk about the specs and features of the ultra wide 38 inch monitor. Next, I'll go into my overall experience with it after using it for two months. And lastly, I'm gonna discuss who I think this monitor is best designed for and versus who it's not as ideal for. So let's get into it. The Dell UltraSharp 38 inch ultra wide monitor is a curved monitor with a 21 by nine aspect ratio. Its LED backlit IPS panel has a native resolution of 3840 by 1600 at 60 Hertz. And its curved screen delivers a pretty sweet immersive experience. Not only does it have a sharp and colorful display, but its infinity edge design gives a clean look with a nearly borderless screen. Coming in at 38 inches diagonally, the monitor itself measures 35 inches wide by 15 inches high by 2 inches deep. Now the monitor can be removed from the stand so that the monitor can also be mounted on a compatible Visa mount if you prefer to have your monitor raised off your desk. Whether you want to have 1, 2, 3 or even up to 6 windows open at one time, Dell's built-in display manager with Dell Easy Arrange allows you to quickly arrange your windows to meet your needs. You can arrange your windows in a number of combinations and orientations. Plus, if you're using the monitor to watch media, edit video, or simply need a full screen, you can easily take advantage of the monitor's large real estate to do just that. In terms of the curvature of the screen, it has a 2300R curve radius. The great thing about this curve is that it's definitely more of a subtle curve, and although it's subtle, the curvature of the monitor immerses you in it, creating a near-complete field of view. This basically gives you a consistent visual focus that reduces your eye movement across the entire screen. And in terms of viewing, the monitor gives you consistent color and detail across its entire panel. And while you can adjust modes and color temperature, it's rated to have accurate color right out of the box, with a factory calibrated 90% sRGB color gamut and a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, the Dell UltraSharp 38 inch monitor supports 1.07 billion colors. But still, if you want to make any color calibrations or adjustments on your own, the monitor has physical menu buttons located underneath the lower bezel. I like these buttons not only because they're extremely slim and unnoticeable, but they also have a nice tactile feel when you press them. One cool feature with this monitor is that you can display and edit content from two different PCs with a single KVM feature. And if you're a laptop user, the USB Type-C port on this monitor gives you a single USB-C cable solution to transmit power, audio, and video signals between your laptop and the monitor. The Dell UltraSharp 38-inch monitor is TUV certified, meaning it has a flicker-free screen with comfort view, a feature that filters any harmful blue light emissions to optimize eye comfort. The screen also has an anti-glare display coating rated with 3H hardness. In terms of connectivity ports, this monitor has a lot of them. It has one display port, two HDMI 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 upstream ports, two USB 3.0 downstream ports on the side of the monitor, and two additional two USB 3.0 downstream ports on the bottom of the monitor, one of those ports also having the capability to charge. And probably the most versatile port on this monitor is the USB Type-C port located on the bottom as well. And if you're wondering if this monitor can be adjusted, yes, it does have height, swivel, and tilt functionality. It can adjust in height up to four and a half inches up and down. It can adjust in tilt five degrees down and 21 degrees up, and it can swivel 30 degrees in either direction. So now I wanna discuss my overall user experience with this monitor after two months of using it. So the first major takeaway I have from this monitor after two months of using it is definitely its video editing capabilities. Now I'm coming from a 21 inch standard 16 by nine monitor, and on that monitor guys, I was definitely limited in how much timeline I could have in my video editing program. I have a PC and I personally use Adobe Premiere, but if you have a Mac, you might use Final Cut Pro, but whatever video editing program you guys have, let me tell you, this monitor is, is just, it's amazing to video edit on because you can fit so much timeline with all that extra horizontal space right there. There's just so much to fit and it really allows you to have a much more expansive timeline and video editing experience, a lot of less zooming in and out. Definitely has made a few, huge difference in my workflow and I'm definitely looking forward to putting it to work going forward as well. The next thing I love about this monitor, guys, is that I don't have to do any window scaling when using the actual monitor itself. 
When I was looking for a new monitor, I was also considering 4K monitors, but I ended up going with this monitor because I read a lot of reviews that people said that on 4K monitors, they had to do a lot of scaling, like 125 to 150% scaling, and you lose a lot of that screen real estate when you scale up. So with this monitor though, it's so wide, it's so big that you don't have to do any scaling. I haven't had to do any scaling. I'm able to keep everything at 100% and it allows me to really take advantage of all the extra screen real estate. Thirdly, I really appreciate that Dell designed a thin bezel into this monitor around the edges. And I also was pleasantly surprised that I ended up actually really enjoying the curve of it. Because like I said before guys, I was coming from a smaller monitor that was obviously flat, had no curve. And I never tried a curved monitor before or an ultra wide monitor for that matter. And I initially thought I'd have to be turning my neck a lot to capture all sides of the monitor. But it turns out I actually don't have to turn my neck at all. And that's due to that subtle curve built into the monitor. So now guys, I do wanna share with you three cons that I've experienced from using this monitor so far for the last two months. The first con is definitely when it comes to watching media or videos or movies. And here's why. If you watch videos on Netflix or say YouTube, most videos are shot in the 16 by nine aspect ratio. So this con is not necessarily a con on the Dell product itself, but it's more just a con on the media. And the reason is because, because this monitor is a 21 by nine inch monitor and most media is 16 by nine, when you watch videos that are filmed in the 16 by nine aspect ratio on this monitor and all ultra wide monitors for that matter that are in 21 by nine ratio, you are gonna get black bars on the left and right hand side. That's just unavoidable. But if you can manage to find videos and movies and there are some that are filmed that were filmed in the 21 by nine aspect ratio, you will be able to take advantage of that full monitor real estate back there. It looks beautiful. I've watched a couple 21 by nine movies, managed to find some, it looks amazing. But for most content today, even in 2019, most content is still filmed in 16 by nine aspect ratio. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. The second con with this monitor is that the audio output is not that great. Big surprise here. Most people don't buy monitors for speakers for their audio speakers anyways. And that's no difference with this monitor. They do have two nine watt speakers built in, like I said, but they're not that great because I found that at lower volumes, they do sound a bit muffled. At higher volumes, they're a little clearer, but definitely lower volumes, they're a bit more muffled. So I don't really use the monitors, the speakers on this monitor. Instead, I just use a Bluetooth speaker. My Anchor Bluetooth speaker it works just fine. Connect it to my computer with my pluggable Bluetooth uh, dongle and I'm good to go. I never even have to touch the monitor speakers. You never really wanna use your monitor speakers anyway, so just something to keep in mind though. And the next con is that this monitor is not as ideal for graphic intensive gaming, but we'll go over that more in just a bit. And actually guys, there's one more bonus con I forgot to mention when it comes to this monitor. So it's not really a con with the monitor itself, but it is really hard to find an ultra wide 38 inch dust cover. You'd be surprised. I searched Amazon, I searched Office Depot, Office Max, Staples, everywhere. I searched every website and the hardest thing to find for this monitor was a dust cover. Most dust covers, their max size is around 30 inches. I was able to find a 32 inch and even a 34 inch, one of each on Amazon, but they still weren't wide enough for this monitor. Luckily though, in the end, I ended up finding a TV monitor and it's not that much bigger than the actual monitor itself. It's by Computer Dust Solutions, guys. This thing, I think it's about 37 inches long and the monitor is 35 inches long. So this thing actually works perfectly and it was a lifesaver because I do like to keep my monitors dust free when I'm not using them and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to find uh, dust cover that big. So that definitely is a huge plus. If you guys want to learn more about the dust cover or the Bluetooth dongle uh, to use with your monitor, I'll link them down below in the description as well. But just something to keep in mind guys, finding a dust cover for an ultra wide monitor is already tough enough, yet alone a 38 inch monitor. All right, so now guys, I want to briefly discuss who I think this monitor is best designed for versus who it's not as ideal for. So I definitely think this monitor is definitely designed for those who are looking for a true day-to-day -day multitasking monitor with a Dell software manager, the Dell display manager. It's been so easy for me to rearrange my windows whether I want to use two or three or four, no matter how many windows I want to use, it's easy to rearrange them with the software. Definitely a great multitasking monitor to have all that screen real estate in, uh, to use at your disposal. Definitely a big plus for that. Secondly, I also feel this monitor is ideal for creatives who do any type of editing, whether you do video editing, photo editing, or you produce music, Having all that extra screen real estate really allows you to expand your timeline. And I know you use timelines for producing music and also for editing video. And just having the extra space for editing photos really makes a big difference in your workflow. I think you'll definitely appreciate it if you're a creative. 
Now there is one caveat that I do want to mention when it comes to editing on this monitor to keep in mind, especially if you edit photos or if you do any type of vector drawings or if you do any types of AutoCAD if you're a designer or into architecture, because it, there is a subtle curve to it, you may be more susceptible to those curve, the curvature messing up with your you know, straight lines. If, if you're in a field where you need very straight lines and that's extremely important, that's something to keep in mind. It may not be as ideal for you to have a curved screen. For me, for video editing, and I think if you're producing music for the most part, you don't really need those straight lines as much. It's, very, it's a very subtle curve, but like I said, it is something to keep in mind. If you do need straight lines, you may not want to go with the curved monitor, but for me, that curvature has been a big plus. Now, who do I think this monitor is not as ideal for? Well, like I said, it's not as ideal for those that need to use straight lines, keep straight lines in their workflow, because this might throw you off. Secondly though, and more probably the bigger uh, group of people that this is not as ideal for are definitely those who want to play more graphic intensive games because don't get this mistaken guys, this monitor is a multitasking and editing monitor, but it's not so much a gaming monitor, definitely not at all. It only maxes out at 60 hertz and there are gaming monitors out there that go up to you know 120 hertz, 144 hertz. So this thing doesn't have a high refresh rate like dedicated gaming monitors. If you're definitely looking just to take advantage of gaming on an ultra wide monitor, you definitely can find better options like an LG or an Acer that have that built in higher refresh rate and are more specifically designed for gaming because some of those have free sync or G-Sync. None of those capabilities are on this monitor this may not be the monitor for you. It's actually not the monitor for you, but if you're looking to multitask and video edit it or produce music, then this makes a lot more sense. So overall guys, if you're looking for an awesome monitor for multitasking, video editing, or even producing music, I really think you can't go wrong with the Dell Ultrawide 38 inch monitor. The solo curve is definitely well designed. I love all the extra screen real estate, really enhanced my workflow. And I will say that I do also find this monitor future proof in the sense that it does have a built-in USB-C port as well as many other USB 3.0 ports as well. If you'd like to learn more about this monitor or any of the other monitors, depending on your budget, I'll link down below where you can find them online. So what do you guys think about ultra wide monitors? Have you used them or do you think they're just overkill? Personally, for me guys, this is my first experience with an ultra wide monitor. And after using it for the last two months, I honestly can't see myself going back to a standard 16 by nine monitor size because I'm definitely on the bandwagon now. I'm definitely team ultra wide. If you have any questions about the Dell UltraSharp 38 inch curved monitor, definitely feel free to leave your questions down below in the comments. And if you found today's video helpful, definitely feel free to give the video a like as well. As always guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.